Where else can furniture mark? A legend. So how did this all get started? It got started by a woman. Her name was Rose Bumpkin. Came to the country in 1917. When she got to be 89, she decided she was going to sell the store and there were some other people interested. And she said, no, I'm going to sell to Mr. Buffett. She lived to 104. When she got to be 103, she retired. I, mean, I just wish Mrs. B was around to see this today. I mean, yeah, you know, how it's, well it's done. Uh, it just my boy. So this is uh, July 5th, 1991. <laughs> we didn't know why we were meeting each other until we met each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we thought our domains did not overlap. Right. But the domain of trying to understand how the world works, what was going on, we both found each other's way of looking at that so fascinating that they had to tear us apart and we became Good both friends, friends <laughs> as of that day. My real vocational goal was to be a mattress tester. I mean, right. I thought that would be a terrific job. I just test mattresses all day, but uh, I never got that, but they did me a, a mattress after me, the Warren. Well, there, there I, we go. That, touting. Pretty nice. I, can you imagine this? I mean, this is this is the way wow. to spend your time. I think this is better than I the mattress mean, I sleep I on. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't fool around with computers when I could be in this position. I mean. <laughs> can you remember buying your first first mattress, Lawrence? Well, I didn't do very much of the purchasing in in, in our family. Uh, I can't recall ever buying anything actually. <laughs> <laughs> Check this man's credit and see if he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Being successful at almost anything means having a passion for it. If you see somebody with even reasonable intelligence and a terrific passion for what they do and who can get people around them to march even when those people can't see over the top of the next hill, uh, things are gonna happen. You know, building Microsoft was incredibly fun. And because we were right about software, we had the wind at our back. And so when I got into philanthropy, the idea of could I do it twice, uh, you know, in an area where the feedback isn't quite as obvious of what you're doing right and wrong. Uh, now I can say uh, that we've got this organization that is so much fun to be a part of. So it's not only a great organization, but it's got these metrics that, uh, at least on some of them, we've exceeded our own expectations. How do we get out of here? Well, we don't want you to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's well designed in that respect. It's like a casino. <laughs> and it, but let me get oriented now. And the truth is, I don't know where we are. <laughs> when you 